the use of RFLPs in physical maps. A few lectures back, we studied that RFLPs, it is very important technique to uh, study the polymorphic differences uh, between the DNA of individuals. So, uh, as you know, it stands for restriction fragment length polymorphism and it exploits the polymorphic differences or sequence variations within the uh, genome. Jaisa ki humne discuss kiya tha ke most of the human genome may be around 99.9% it is similar and only 1% of the genome it is different and this 1% difference it can be exploited to study uh, one can say that polymorphism because if 0.1% differences are there so the restriction target sites they will be affected okay from one individual to an other individual due to 0.1% variation restriction sites for the enzymes they will be different so when we will digest the dna we will get different patterns on the gel electropresses so different type of bands they will be separated on the basis of their length because now enzyme will target at different locations suppose the individual uh, one is there and we have digested its uh, genomic dna with equal one it will give a different pattern and due to 0.1 percent if we will digest uh, uh, next individual just like when we take 0.1 percent difference over next individual ke genome so, uska jo bending pattern hai, your fragment ki length jo hai, by using same restriction enzyme, wo are different aayegi. So, ye jo differences hai, fragments mein, hum ye resolve kar sakte hai, by the gel electrophoresis. So, is tarah se, is tarah ke jo uh, techniques hai, your fragments hai, like RFLPs, uh, they were the first one to be used uh, in physical mappings. So, this technique the first time uh, it was introduced uh, around 1918 by Boutstein and his co workers. And uh, uh, he exploits the DNA probes for this purpose. So, he suggested that DNA probes they can bind with the complementary site in the restriction fragments, and then we can. Uh, map the genomes so this RFLP techniques it exploits number one uh, that uh, uh, loss in the restriction uh, enzyme site due to the base substitution ke koi base substitute ho hai to ek jo restriction site jo pehle thi wo khatam ho gai hai to us variation pattern ko ye exploit kar sakta hai RFLP technique is ke alawa koi addition ho gayi hai ya deletion ho gayi hai usse bhi polymorphism aayegi ya jo macro satellite dna hai unme jo variation hai usko bhi study kiya ja sakta hai by using rf lp technique so here for example we have two genes or segments of the dna first one it is the normal and it is indicated by the presence of three restriction site here and somehow the genotype is affected due to certain mutations, base substitutions, addition of uh, DNA or deletion of DNA so that one site it is here loss so that uh, in this case the number of fragments that will be produced is different and in lower case it will be different so that we can exploit such variations to study the locations of uh, different genes. This diagram or outline that how polymorphic uh, situations they can be exploited suppose here we have uh, a chromosomal dna like here it is indicated as the suspect one here and then it is digested with restriction enzyme so that we have variety of fragments and then in the next diagram it is uh, mentioned here that uh, these fragments they can be 
separated on the gel from different sources like uh, uh, I told you earlier that uh, this RFLPs it can be used to find some cases or uh, witnesses in uh, forensic biology where we can suspect the victims are certain criminals by studying or comparing their DNA banding patterns. So here this DNA fingerprinting technique it has been used in forensic biology but it is also a very important technique to study the pattern or arrangement of genes on the chromosome.